Researchers in the Netherlands and Belgium created a simulation that shows even if you're working out outside, you could be exposed to COVID-19 through what is called a slipstream. They're too small to see, but knowing they exist could play a big role in avoiding COVID-19. The droplets that are exhaled by somebody, or even when the person coughs or sneezes, but just exhaling is enough. Civil engineer Professor Bert Blocken and his team had been investigating the movement of particles around an active body for the last eight months. But when the COVID-19 pandemic erupted, scientists in Europe turned to them. So we worked on it for about, I think, two weeks, day and night, evenings and weekends. They found that in those walking, running or cycling, a vacuum or a slipstream is created, which could cause respiratory droplets to spread much farther than the prescribed six feet of social distancing. And the droplets are very light. They will stay behind in the air and they need time to settle down and if they don't get the time to settle down because another person starts running directly behind you this person will simply walk through that cloud of droplets to avoid it stay 15 feet from others when walking 33 feet when running or cycling slowly and 65 feet when running or cycling at a faster pace I showed the study to one couple on Tampa's Riverwalk who have been wearing masks outdoors. It certainly makes sense and I, I know it was in my mind as, as we were walking or we wouldn't be wearing these masks. The study says the droplets can evaporate quickly but humidity plays a large role. It depends on the relative humidity outside. If you are in a, in a very humid environment it takes much longer uh, for these droplets to evaporate. Blocken says based on the simulations, the study suggests that the best way to reduce the risk is to avoid running directly behind one another. He says you could also run in a staggered formation or run side by side. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News.